Hello and welcome to Plans by Kim. If you are new here, welcome and thanks for stopping by. So today we are going to be planning in my classic catch-all the week of the 19th to the 25th of September. And if you want to see how this one turns out, keep watching. <music> with me. I am bringing in the Fall Florals Volume 2 by Kelva Plan and going to pair it with the Fall Harvest that I just got in my new release box this last Friday. So um, I'm going to use a quote out of here and I'm going to use one sticker out of here to bring this all together. And I think I'm going to stick my quote box over here in the sidebar. Oh my gosh, you guys, the flies this year. I shouldn't say this year. They just really got bad all of a sudden um, in the last few weeks. I'm going to come in here and use this pumpkin spice and all things nice sticker here or there. I think I'll do it up here. Okay, and that'll be our jumping off point. And then in here, these are what I'm going to use. I thought those would look really nice with that. sticker over here in the sidebar. So let's see what do I want to do first. What do I have coming up this week? That's the question. So um, Wednesday the 21st. Oh, I told the kids the wrong date. I'm going to have to tell them the right date. Wednesday the 21st. I have a dentist appointment at 2.30. I don't think there's anything going on this weekend other than the fact that I just have things that I need to get done around the house. So maybe this is a good weekend to go see a movie. I've been trying to get to the theater now for three weeks and it's just not working out. So, beans that we don't really have a busy week, and I say that, and it'll turn out busy. It always works out that way. Let's come back here and get some pretty florals. Now, what do I want to do? That is always the question, right? Uh, I do want to take these and put them down in my corner. And then, oh, I need some washi. I've got to go into my desk and get some washi. I'm in the dining room tonight filming. I know you guys probably can't see me struggling here. But there she is. Isn't that pretty? All right, I gotta go get some washi tape and I will be back. Okay, I just brought out a couple trays of washi. So I don't know what I'm going to use yet, but definitely probably will use my little romantic tape here. Um, So I've got the fan going in the background. Marley's trying to get comfortable. She's not too happy with me because I gave her a bath today. And she's not happy about that. This did go off my paper a bit. But just give it a trim maybe. It's not like in the haircut. All 
And I think I'm gonna come in here and, and cut this down too, because I don't like that covering the beautiful flower. Actually, I wanna cut it from here. There we go. Now, let's see what else do I want to do. Looking to see if there would be another corner. There is. Let's use this one on the other side. Okay, I went all the way down, so I guess we're gonna go all the way down with this one. Oh, and I didn't cover the lines, so we won't cover the lines with this one either. Got a little bit of this left over. Um, this one now, I don't wanna have it be as long. And we'll just come in here and cut this as well. Let's see, what do I got over here? Now I'm cutting hard enough to cut through my paper, but not hard enough to go through the sticker underneath. Took that little piece off that I didn't want to come off. All right, let's put down some boxes. How about we do that? How about I go with this more nude color over here. I'll put this on Monday. Now, I don't want that pumpkin straight across from that, so I'm gonna bring this down here just a bit. And I like how there's a little bit of this eucalyptus, and this looks like some eucalyptus over here. That's why I thought those books went really good hand in hand with each other. There's this one here. How about I put a little bit of tape there? Mm, it's too, too small.
Gosh, I think that's too close to that color. In fact, yeah, that's way too close to that color. So I'm gonna change my mind on that color. What if we did this? Bring in some of that floral. And then bring in a box. Maybe this green one here and just put this right here. Now here I am gonna cut this straight down. So it looks like it's kinda of stuck underneath that paper there. All right, that's pretty. I'll lock that. And then I'm going to move over, move over to the other side of the page. I think I've got a lot of Marley's hair on me because I did give her a bath earlier in the day. Guys, it was 100 degrees here. 100. What is wrong? It's the middle of September. Guys, it's fall. Fall starts right here on the 22nd. And it's 100. And it's going to be 100 tomorrow. And it's going to be 99 on the 21st. And finally on... The 22nd, it's calling for 75 degrees. Hallelujah. I'm kind of thinking maybe, let me see if there's another long box. That's the only long box. Yeah, that's the only long box. Okay. I'm thinking maybe to bring this in on this side of the page because we have it over here. And for balance, it would be nice to bring it over here and I don't know. We usually make my list on Thursdays because we've got lots going on on the weekend. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of bring it down a little bit. Okay, let's hope that this goes down straight. It doesn't look like it's going down very straight. It looks like it's going down a little crooked. Oh, and I think it's down. I think it's down. I think it's down. Okay. The undo is coming out because that is... I don't know how crooked it is, but I know it's crooked. Again, I just hold this up and um, it comes out of the bottle very slowly. I do not push and squeeze on the bottle. And I use the little black thingy to kind of as a putty knife. Okay, I had to get some new, new bottles of undo. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it this way. I just don't have anything to guide me with. I'm just gonna put that down. I think it went down straight. Looks straight to me. Okay, then um, I want to bring in a double box. Okay, 
Okay, so these are my double boxes to, I get to choose from. I go for that lighter color, even though that looks a little busy too. How about if we flip it upside down? Oh, does that work? I think I'm gonna make it work. This one over here. I'm gonna bring in this color box over here. Actually. How about we bring this one in over here? And we'll come in and take this off. Let's just go ahead and bring in bullet points. Um, I really, I'm not gonna put bullet points over here. So I think I'll just put some down here on this day. How about we do that color? And then this pea green. And maybe we should just do this vanilla color. see what we can find. I think there's that cute little umbrella. Let's see what else I can find. What is this? Oh, we've got some headers there. Hmm. That page kept sticking, so I was like, didn't know that was in there. Some more headers. There's some more of these. So I really wanna bring in this umbrella. I think I will. Cut this off. And then I also think that these green boots with these little legs sticking out, that is cute. Kind of just want to bring those right down here. Under here. Oh, I don't know where I want to put these. 
I know we want to put them down here somewhere. Let me check my quote. Let me see how big my quote's gonna be. I'm gonna go get another book of quotes. I'll be right back. Found me a quote. And I do think I'm going to bring in another little pumpkin and put over here. Um, this one that I'm looking at, I'm not sure if it's gonna be too big. We shall see. Okay, I do like that. So I found a quote. This is in my book of quotes that I just took from all different books and made my own little homemade book. And I'm gonna use this, oh fall, it's nice to see you again. Now, this is from last year's um, seasonal book, fall season book, and um, the writing in this is very copper okay now in this new book they almost took a mix between copper and rose gold because this doesn't look quite rose gold to me it looks like there's a little bit of copper mix with it but everything i have for fall is basically in because when I went to some of my rose gold, it doesn't quite match up to, to that. It's kind of crazy. It's pretty. I like it. But we're going to make this work. I wanted to put this about right in here. Okay, and then I wanted to, let's put this book away, come back into this Fall Florals Volume 2 and take this pretty little floral piece here and see how this would work over here. Not sure how that looks on that side of the page, um, just by itself there. Wondering if I shouldn't bring this one in. And then this is what I just cut off over here. So I think what I'll do is just kind of trim down a lot of that excess clear. bring that over there. And 
and fill that in. Okay, well that looks, that looks a little bit better. Okay, this one here is gonna come over and fill some of that in there. Let's see. I think that will work. I just do need to cut down this here. We'll just put a little bit of floral there so it's not so bare. And we'll put those there. Oh, now I just want to come in with some headers and I think we will be done with this spread. Um, this over here is a little empty but I can always put like a little gratitude box over here. All right, let's put some headers down. Maybe another box here with some gratitude. I'm just gonna come up here with this today. Let me go back into Calva Plan and see if I can find a box to go over here. And But let's see what this would look like. I'll put that one there. that one there and
just going to cut this one here and see how I can bring this up and try to come down there. I make sure I'm not cutting through my paper. Okay, I like that turned out really pretty. I feel like I need a little touch of whimsy on this side. I've got a little bit of whimsy over here. Now I feel like I need a touch over here. So let me see if I can't go back into this fall harvest book and see if I can't find something just to put over here. This is cute here. Kind of hides that and gives that a nice touch. And then how about, I don't know, maybe I just bring in this book. Place it down here. That's cute. I think I'll just do that. Oh, love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm done. All right, guys, we are done with this spread. I think it turned out so pretty with a touch of whimsy. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And then if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.